Hey there everyone, it's your friendly neighborhood minifigure here, and welcome back to another LEGO review. Today we are looking at the LEGO Ninjago Coles Titan Dragon Mech from Ninjago Dragons Rising. The set serial number is 71821. It has 1,055 pieces. It came out in 2024, and it currently retails for $100 in the U.S. Now let's take a look at the single minifigure in the set, which is Mech Cole. So here's the front of him. There's the side. There's the back. There's the other side. And here's a better look at Cole, Cole without his mask on. Now, of course, I'm not, not really caught up with Ninjago. I haven't really started watching Dragons Rising yet, so I don't know why Cole's face looks like this, but it does look pretty cool nonetheless. And here's a secondary face, where his face is more normal. Anyways, that does it for the minifigure. Now on to the actual mech, which is pretty big. Right, so there's the front of it. There's the side. There's the back. And there's the other side. Now starting, <laughs> now starting from the bottom here, both of <clears throat> both of the legs of this mech do have multiple posable joints. You've got the feet, which can be bent up and down, like so. Do that for both. Does it require a bit of force to actually do it because of these like hydraulic pieces in the back, which are, which I think might be might be for stability for this thing. <clears throat> now we, <clears throat> all right. Next up, we got some knee joints, which uh, I got enough. I can. Bend these with one hand. Not, let me, uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, so you can, uh, you can also bend the legs like this uh, at the knees here. So, and that's what it looks like with the knees bent. Now, let me just get this thing back to normal. Yeah. Alright, cool. And each leg can also be twisted as well. Up at up at this point right here. Eh, you can twist them around like so. Just eh. And also up here, you've got these uh, flap. You've got these flap portions, which can be moved up and down in order for you to move the legs at the hips. So yeah, so you can do that, and that also gives you a better look at the 
joints as well. And so if I can, I'll try. You can... Uh, yeah, so you can move the legs like this. <laughs> uh, and you can also take this take this and move the legs like that and those can be folded back down like so Yeah, and the main torso can also move as well. It can rotate an entire 360 degrees. I don't think I will be able to, but... Uh, one, I don't think I'll be able to rotate it with one hand, but it is something that you can do. And, and now we're up, we're up at the arms. The arms can also be adjusted in multiple places. Here's where the uh, shoulders would be. So you can move the shoulders up and down right here. You can also move them forward and backward. Uh, and like I said, this, and like I showed with the legs, this also applies for both arms. And here we've got where the elbows and the wrists would be. Yeah, so you yeah, so you adjust them with a, with like these technic teeth pieces that you've seen before. Oh yeah, these arms gonna can also be twisted around as well. Right here at this point. And it's also got, and it's also got posable hands as well. So, yeah, so the hands are adjusted at this ball socket point here. They can be moved around in any direction. And, and as you can see, you've got three posable fingers and a posable thumb. And also, there's this giant sword, which is attached by a Technic pin. Let me, let me take that off real quick. Alright, so here's a better look at the sword without, without being attached to the hand of the mech. And there's a better look at the hand without the sword in it. So as you can see, there's a single Technic pin here, which the sword goes into. And, and like I said, this is also true for the other hand as well, which, yeah, it's got the same three fingers and a thumb. And it's also got a, and it's also got a Technic pin here that the sword can go into. And of course, to actually get the sword in there, you have this you have this technic hole right here which again i don't know if i'll be able to do this with one hand but let's see all right there All right, there we are. Got the, all right, cool. Got the sword in his hand. And you can just close up the fingers here to make it look as though, yeah, to make a good look as though the mech is actually hold, um, holding this. Oh, I just realized I actually put it in wrong.
that's okay. Yeah. Uh, right. And yeah, so that's how it's supposed to look. And also up here, we, also up here we've we've also got a cockpit area with an adjustable neck and head for our mech. Right. There's also a closer look at what the mech head looks like. And, and there's the neck. And here we've got, hold up, let me see if I can get a good view of the cockpit for you. Alright, so... Alright, yeah, so this is the cockpit area. It's just... <laughs> It's just that single two, yeah, it's just this small space where coal sits. So, uh, it's a little quick. Yeah, and, and like that, you can sit coal in there. Yeah, yeah. The, only, the only thing I don't like about this is that you've got these like wing pieces here that that are supposed to make up the cockpit, and they sort of get in the way of making of, of like getting coal in there. It makes it a bit difficult. And then also, like you saw towards the, like you saw in the back before, there are these, there are these things here. I don't know what these are supposed to be. I think these are supposed to be wings. I haven't seen, like I said, I haven't seen Dragons Rising, so I don't know what these are supposed to be. But, but you can take this and like bend it forward and backward because it's got ball, it's got these ball joints on the back, as you can see. And you can also take each of these little wing things and flip them up and down. And also on each of these, there is a hook here that you can use to attach one of Cole's swords to. They are a bit hard to get to, though. At least for my hands, I'm sure that I'm sure that a smaller child would have an easier time with this. Like I said, the same thing for the other side as well. These things all bend forward and backward. And again, you've also got a sword which can be held Alright, so that about does it for all the play features of the mech. Uh, <coughs> yes. <coughs> um, <laughs> um, overall, as far as LEGO mechs go, I, um, I think that this thing is really solid and good, and it really shows just how far, uh, 
<laughs> um, just how far Lego has come along when it comes to a uh, making Max, because um, I, uh, yeah, because um, I remember I didn't, I'd, I've never really had that many Lego Max as a kid, but I have seen, but I've definitely seen in the older uh, 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 uh um, Ninjago Max, and yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> or yeah, and, and and yeah, and the new modern Max that Lego has made, uh, and, and um, they am definitely they definitely look uh, look look far better than the older Max that that Lego has made in the past. <laughs> and as far as a playset goes, I um, I think that this is fine. Um, I. Uh, to, um, I do wish that they included a couple of of bad guy minifigs from from like whichever from whichever season of of Dragons Rising that this is from because like as a standalone set like <coughs> like uh, um, even though the mech is cool as a as a standalone playset and toy I don't think it's that good because there's not really a whole lot that that you would be able to do with just with just the mech by itself that, that this was <clears throat> the only set you had so I <clears throat> so I think it would I, I think it would I think it would an up the play value if they, if they included a, a couple of of bad guy minifigs or even a small bad guy vehicle with this set as well and as f <clears throat> and, um, and as for the price, like, I think the price per, per part ratio is fine. I think, yeah, I think a hundred dollars for for like a thousand fifty five pieces, um, is is probably fair. But like again, for for the play value for for like just the smack alone, yeah, one hundred one hundred dollars does not seem like it's worth it to me. Anyways, that was my review of the Lego Ninjago Cole's Titan Dragon Mech set. I hope you liked that review, and if you did, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and oh wait, uh, oh wait, actually, yeah, uh, before that, one more complaint. <laughs> that yeah, I do also wish, like I said before, that for the cockpit they took out these wing pieces in order to like make getting getting coal in there easier because they do get in the way of it. Anyways, that was my review of the Lego Ninjago Coals Titan Dragon Rig. Dra Titan Dragon Mech set. I hope you liked that review, and if you did, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and ring the notification bell for new videos. Thank you, bye!